Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to make deeply nested XML documents. To be more realistic than simply a, uh, there was a little lady who swallowed a fly, I've, what I've done is I've created a database here in which there's linkages between the different tables. So I have a number of tables. I have a ladies table that has simply a name and an ID. Then I have a horses table. So you can see that the horses table has a, a lady ID. So that's the key that is going to join to the to the lady. So, so what I'm going to end up with here is a properly nested XML document in which there's multiple um, the multiple tables are joined properly. So um, the spiders that are the flies that are related to a particular spider are with contained within that spider, the birds, the cats, etc. So so I've started doing this. So I'll show um, where I am now. So if we look at the um, the flies, so we'll open the XML templater. At the lowest level, the flies, they're very simple. I simply use the templater to build my uh, XML. So you can see a fly looks like that. Okay, so it's at the lowest level. So um, it does not um, do anything special at all. Now where it gets interesting is at the spider level. So at the spider level here, I'm saying a spider has an ID and a name, and the spider contains the flies that it swallowed, of course. And um, this is the line right here. I, the way I build this is I simply say um, FME process feature flies because I'm building the spider. So I grab all the flies from the, the sub template, but I say only grab those flies whose spider ID is equal to the ID, the value of my attribute ID. And so then when I run it, what I'll do. So to illustrate how I do this, I'm going to run this now. We'll look at the output. Then we'll finish this workspace so you can see exactly how we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to run this now. Okay, it takes just a, a second. And I've built up all the way down to cows. Okay, so I look at this and you're gonna see that what I have is I have cows. Well, how many cows do I have? Okay, I have two cows. Okay, if I look at the first cow, he has a name ID. Um, his name is Moore. Okay, if I look at the second cow, he has an ID of two and his name is Spot. Okay, and um, within the second cow, he has a uh, number of dogs. How many dogs does he have? He has one dog. The dog's name is Rover. Okay. And again, if we what we could do is we if we look at Rover, the dog in here. This is the original table. You can see that Rover, the dog, belonged was eaten by cow two. Spot, the dog, was whose ID was one was eaten by cow one. Okay. So you can see how. Now what we're able to do is to bring together when we're joining these when we're taking these relational structures and bringing them together. We're able to build the nesting properly. So, okay, so now we're going to go back and I'm going to do horse. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I scroll down here. I'm going to add another one. Okay, we're going to call it horse. Okay, and um, um, horse has a tag horse like this. Okay, and of course it has an ID. So this is very simple, right? Okay, put those marks there, and I drag the ID of horse into here. So this is the horse ID. Okay, and it also has a name. Okay, and I drag the name of the horse out here. Okay, and it turns out that horses, as we know, also have cows. Okay, because she swallowed the horse to. She swallowed the cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. Now, what cows does do we want? Well, we're going to grab the process, the template from cows like this. Okay, now, but there's now the process feature can take two parameters. The first parameter is on cow. If we go back to cow here, you'll see that cow actually has a value called horse ID. So I want to say where the value of horse ID is equal to, and then I'm going to drag out my ID here. Whoops, do that a little better. Okay, 
and I don't need these parentheses here in this case. Okay, and there you go. So now I'm going to say that the horse has an idea of this and the cows and this particular horse, each particular horse is only going to get to grab the cows whose horse ID is equal to this ID. So I say okay, okay, now I'm going to connect the horse. I also need to generate the root of course because now my root is horses, horses. And the root is the key because the root is the one who starts the evaluation chaining down. Okay, so it's horse. Okay, and that's inconsistent, so we're going to call it horses. And then we will rename that other tag down here Just to be consistent. We're going to call it horse. It's like that. Okay, there we go. And now I got to connect this again down here so I'll move this down here just for fun then I can zoom in here okay and we can see what's going on horses and so now I'm going to run that okay like this and assuming I did everything right it worked and now I go here and up comes and now you can see I have horses and uh, there's how many horses are there? Well, in my case, there's two of everything. There's two horses. Each horse has one cow, okay? And the cows, and you can see all the way down, okay? So now we'll finish it up by adding ladies, but it's going to be exactly the same thing, okay? We're going to go down here, and um, we're going to add ladies, ladies, and okay. And each lady that comes in looks like this, okay? And each lady has a name and an ID, okay? Okay, we drag in ID, okay? We drag in name, okay? Like this, very good. And each lady, as we know, swallowed um, a horse. In fact, she may have swallowed many horses. We aren't really too sure, and we can't ask her because she is dead. So we put that in there like that. But again, we only want to grab the horses who have a lady ID, which is equal to my ID. Okay, like this, like this. Okay, now we got to go up here because actually this is ladies. Okay, ladies. And we're going to process the features, ladies, like that. Okay, now we run that. Okay, yes. And we connect ladies here, and we save it just because we're sure we're done. We run this, and it all looks great. Okay, and we open this. Yes, and now we have ladies. How many ladies did we actually have? We have two ladies. Okay, that is the way and the full power of the XML templater. So not only does it enable me to build templates, it actually now enables me to nest them properly. Um, in the past, I would have had to have fancy joiners, feature mergers, um, aggregators, a whole bunch of different transformers. Now it's all wrapped up into one nice transformer.